this short video, I want to teach you how to have a little bit more fun with your dog, how to play tug with your dog. And I think that's pretty much the most fun you're going to ever have with your dog is toys playing and him to understand that. So I'm going to go through a real quick session and show you what I'm doing after. So good boy, come here. Down. Good. And I'm going to take the line off of him just for demonstration purposes here since we're playing and he understands these exercises really well. So first things first. First thing is this is my toy. I bring the toy out when I want to play with him and then I put it away when I'm done playing with him. So very, very first thing, toy comes out and I can tell him this, watch. Yeah, good, good, oh, good. And then obedience, sit, good, down, yes. And he gets to play. Right, I give him the toy immediately. Why does he bring it back to me? Because I'm gonna play with him when he brings it back to me. The mistake people make on the toys is the dog brings the toy back and the people take the toy away. Once, once you do that with your dog down, it breaks the cycle. So if a dog brings a toy to you, you play with it. And if you have a hard time getting your dog to bring the toy back, there's two ways you can fix that problem. One, start with two toys. That means if your dog goes over there with a toy, bring out the second toy, engage your dog with that toy. It's more fun because you have it. And then when he brings you the other toy, let him have this toy. It's called two ball. Two exact same color ball, size balls. You take them out, you throw one, he goes and grabs it, he sits there and starts chewing on it. You grab the other ball out and go, hey, come on. And as soon as he comes back for this one, take the other one, throw this one. Play that back and forth, and then you'll teach your dog how to out the toy as well, because he's gonna start to learn that once he lets go of that toy, he gets the second toy and gets to continue the game. Dogs don't want the game to end, and humans always end the game. So by doing that, you're making the biggest mistake with your dog. So again, even if I tell him to out, good. The toy, it's gonna start the game. So right now he knows right, we're about ready to start. So here, yeah, good, good, good. Oh, come on, down, no, down, good. So you'll see he's gonna skid into doing what, he, what we want him to do. Yep, good, down, good boy, here. Good, yep, good boy, good boy, Hop. And then again, the game starts. So playing tug with your dog is real simple. When he grabs onto the toy, you start pulling, but be aware, the tug game is a two-sided game. If I just drag my dog around the yard like this, dragging him everywhere, this game isn't fun for my dog because he's losing. So when my dog starts pulling me, I start letting him win. Oh, good boy. And what does that do? It makes him want to play more. Come on. Good boy. So he brings the toy to me, we play. He doesn't know when I'm gonna stop playing. All he thinks is when I bring it, the game starts. So, good. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good, oh good, good. Down, out. And it's a simple time to teach your dog to out the toy when he goes down, because it's a missive position. So if I wanna teach him to follow the toy, like I taught him with the, with the treats, same thing, come on, come on. Good, he comes around, good. Now if I want to teach him to go through my legs, good. Simple action, a simple movement, because we're luring and shaping the behaviors, good boy, based on his actions. Every time he brings that toy to me, we play, and you'll see that if I sit here, out, yep. Yeah. The game starts again. Good. Out. No, out. Good. Check. Good boy. The game goes on as long as he continues to bring the toy back to me. If he takes it away, then the game's over. He can't play the same game with himself that he plays with me. So I want to teach you the difference between playing with your dog with a tug or a ball. And it's real simple. A, a toy, such as a tug, is an engagement. In other words, I engage the toy, I activate the toy, I make the toy have fun. And I can do that with a tug because the more he pulls on it, I pull on it, the more we go back and forth. A ball doesn't have that same effect. A ball, on the other hand, kind of disengages the dog from me. So if I have him there, and you'll see when I bring this ball out, he loves the ball and the tug, but you'll see the difference now. The, t the ball is something he's gonna get and he's gonna kind of veer off and lay over there. But what he's wanting me to do from here, Goofy, bring it here, come on. Good, down, out. The action of the ball, no, down, out. Good, 
the action of the ball here is for him to chase it, right? He keeps jumping up wanting to play with it and take it. So the action of the ball is quite different than the action of the toy. The ball is something he's going to chase and then come back with. As a good boy. Now, by putting a string on a ball, it makes it a little bit more like a tug. So you can actually engage the dog a little bit more and play somewhat of a game of tug. But that's not the real idea of ball. I won't play ball unless I have either have two balls or have a ball on a string, like the one that just broke. So out. So now I'll explain to you that if I just have the ball here, he's going to just go chase the ball. And I can't really engage the ball now without a string. So he brings it back, good, out. Watch the difference in the interaction between the dog and me with a ball. I take the ball, I throw the ball. The dog chases the ball, the dog brings the back ball. The dog brings the ball back. Here, down. And you can see that this is a good game for some dogs, but it doesn't really cement that relationship between you and the dog. It's kind of real similar to Frisbee. I take the ball, I throw the ball, over here, 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 go get it. So once you figure out where the ball is, there it goes. But now watch the difference between that game and a game of tug. So now, out, good, out. So now, that game compared to a game of tug, which is gonna, as soon as he engages the toy, it starts the game between him and me. Yep, good boy. So now, the starting of the game is him connecting with the ball, me releasing him. On the ball, the game is over then because he's going to go free and chase the ball on his own. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I want to show you a real important part of playing tug. Most people think tug is just this war. They call it tug of war. It's a game I've never considered even naming that. When the dog grabs this tug, that's when we start engaging and building a relationship back and forth. So when my dog comes here, good, and I give him this tug, yep, yeah, good. Right here, this is him pulling me. And the very, very first part of tug is the dog pulling me and the dog knowing he can win. So that when I ask the dog to come back, come on, come on, he wants to play again because he keeps winning this game. And it doesn't build dominance, doesn't build aggression, it just builds a really nice, strong balance on the dog that he can play a game and win with his owner. Good boy. Good. And in a lot of protection dog sports or, or, uh, or obedience sports, we teach the dog that he can win because we want the dog to win. We want the dog to have a very well-balanced relationship with us. If the dog always thinks he's going to lose and I'm the dominant one, I'm the stronger one, I'm going to throw him on his back and flip him around and hurt him and do these things, that's not a solid relationship with your dog. A solid relationship with your dog is a balanced relationship in which he wants to engage with you, he wants to train with you, and he wants to have fun with you. That all is based on the structure that he understands that you are in control. You feed him, you walk him, you play with him, you start and stop the games. And if you have that kind of relationship, most dogs in the world don't need any more dominance than understanding some basic structure. Right? Yeah, come on. Good boy. Oh, good boy. So if I want him to out the toy here. Good boy. Out. Good. Out. Yep. Yeah. Good boy. Good. And if I want to build some more drives into him, because right now he's getting a little tired, I'm going to build some misses into it. Good. Down. Out. Good. So now I'll build, and that, this is going to build frustration for him. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good. Oh, good. 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 The dog has to win more than you. So that means he has to know, I'm going to go for this toy. I'm going to get that toy. And the more he gets that toy, the more fun he has getting the toy. And the more fun he has getting that toy, the more he's going to do for you in order to get that toy. And whether that's going to be obedience, healing, sitting, staying, coming, or whatever, that's the way you're going to engage your dog.